Is that right? Okay, do people who like daily vlog put their phone on like blue tack or something so it doesn't move? Because I don't know if I can drive like this. Let's drive babies. Okay, hello everyone. Ah! Okay, let's not drive. Hello everyone, welcome to my first day in the life video. I'm currently, I think, 15 weeks out from the IFBB New South Wales show, which is the first state show of season A 2024. Um, and I thought I'd just take you on a usual day in the life. Pretty much every single day looks the exact same aside from Sunday because I work every single day aside from Sunday. Um, but yeah, I thought you, I'd take you along. I've really got a blue tack this or something. Anyways, I thought I'd take you along, show you what I do, you can see the office, you can see everyone else, Michael, James, Mads, um, and yeah, I apologise for the wobbling. Um, I'm currently on my way to the gym, um, every morning pretty much looks the same, I get up around 5. Ooh! Shit! to get off it in the corner so I could like do like 10 seconds of me like doing my cardio oh. and doing my steps and I was on it for like a whole hour I did my 30 minutes of cardio I did half an hour of walking mm. and then she got off it but she got off to get a wet wipe and then got back on for another 20 minutes so I was on there for literally like an hour and 20 minutes oh my God. and then right as I was about to be like fuck <coughs> I'm just not getting this part of it um she got off so then I got like the 10 seconds of the step. <laughs> whatever reason forget, let's say it's a public holiday or away or whatever. I don't think the announcement matters too much, I just think it's a nice way to keep things in the loop. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last thing you would have seen was, I think, the meeting that we have at 9, which is generally when I have my meal one. So I have my meal one in the microwave now, I'm going to do Michael's meal one as well, um, and then talk through all of the supplements that I'm taking, my AM supplements, and then I'll go through my nighttime supplements later tonight. Um, my meals have been pretty much all the same throughout like the entirety of my prep so far um, and I will probably maintain them literally the exact same throughout the whole thing anyways. Sorry about the slightly different angle, I didn't realise that my battery was about to go flat. But for meal one, I have just rice, chicken breast mince and veg, bok choy and capsicum which I've maintained throughout the whole entire thing. And then I will also do um, 20 grams of dark chocolate as well with this meal. Um, and then meal two is pretty much identical. I may as well show you all of my meals here anyway. Well. Hello, I've never featured in someone's vlog before. Uh, also I'm we have to the, crouch. Normally the vlogger, not the vloggy. Okay, so I've already walked through my meal. I'm going to do Michael's meal and I'm hoping that Mads, when you edit this, you can just speed this process. So Michael does the one, 200 grams of yogurt. Also, a handy little tip, if you ever forget your protein or you forget lunch, Coles sell individual sachets of protein and they're only $3 and they're super handy for any time that you do forget them. Yeah? What's first thing in the morning? Um, else. As in like 9 a.m.? Yeah, when we come in. yeah, yeah, that's fine. Pretty good. I thought you were going to say like 5 a.m. or something. <laughs> Another little tip when measuring dark chocolate, I always actually weigh it because generally, when you break off, say, two sections, it usually equates to 20 grams. However, I literally had to break off like 
four grams out of this little chunk here um, to ensure that it did weigh 20 grams. So if you're wondering why maybe you're not losing fat or you're struggling to see results, ensure that everything is like genuinely accurate. Um, you're being honest about tracking things um, and you're just sort of holding yourself accountable regardless of whether or not you have a coach, like they can't stand there and track things for you. So ensure that you're doing everything properly, especially if you're struggling from a result perspective. What is happening, mate? I'm going well. We've got a fantastic day. So fuck. I'm going to be checking for the week, man. Um, should be a pretty soft stand one, just because you are back. Um, and you've oh only just gone back, but you're going to get straight back into it. So, um, you know, after New Year's, after Christmas, I'm going to do a little while. Come back up. Be in there. Already, I thought while we're here, why am I not in focus? That's better. Sorry about everyone in the background. Um, but we will go through. Well, I thought we may as well go through my morning supplements. So I always have a liter of water minimum before I get to the office by uh, 9 a.m. So generally I will have four liters of water a day. Um, and then my first liter once I get here is uh, has a scoop of the um, supplement needs electrolyte powder and then five grams of creatine in my water. Um, and then 30 minutes prior to my first meal, I will have um, 500 milligrams of berberine, which I usually take alongside inositol, which I actually left at home. Um, so they go in before my meal. And then once I've eaten my meal, I have like a whole entire cup of supplements. So I put everything in this little cup, keep it beside my desk. Um, and then depending on the day, sort of, it depends how close after I've eaten my meal the supplements go in because it is sometimes just um, a pain to get them all down and you'll see why. So I also add 15 milligrams of zinc. Um, supplement needs magnesium glycinate which is literally like the best one ever. Um, and then I have one tablet which is a thousand milligrams of NAC and then I also have um, this at nighttime as well with my nighttime supplements, which is just that and then glycine. Um, I've recently started using the supplement needs Omega Femme as well, um, instead of my usual sort of um, supplements that I take instead of this, uh, just because it's easy. This is four capsules as like one dose, so you can probably gauge why I don't like taking my supplements because there's a million capsules. Um, and then the supplement needs PMS Plus, which I recently introduced um, and I don't know if it's like a placebo, I don't know if it's genuinely really good, um, but after thinking that I lost my period, um, like week I think 16 into my prep, um, I started taking this. I think my period was like 12 or 13 days late. And then a couple days afterwards, um, it came back. However, I do think, I think it was a combination of this and addressing um, stress as well and bringing that down. But either way, that is something that I've decided will continue. That, keep in mind, is like vitamin B5, B6, B12, D3. It still has like 400 milligrams of magnesium in it itself. Zinc, ashwagandha, inositol, a whole heap of stuff in there. Uh, so just be mindful if you are opting for a product like this, you are analyzing the back and sort of the milligrams of everything because this is quite highly dosed. Um, so adding that on top of like extra supplements you're already taking, you will have to make some adjustments to what you're already taking. Um, and then we have taurine, so five capsules of this. Again, you can probably see why I don't like taking my supplements because it's literally like a cup filling up. Um, and that's all for now. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, usually there's an extra two capsules in here, like mentioned, because I have the two um, inositol in the morning as well. Um, but they these will go down when I mentally feel like I can eat them all. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of the supplements are just the glycine, and the other NAC, which I take pre-bed. Okay, so I've decided that I may officially be, and this may officially be the worst first vlog ever, um, but the last time um, 
I touch base, we were making my meal one. I have now eaten my meal two. Um, done a podcast with the wonderful Kristen Ellis and Maddie. We just finished that up now. Um, I've worked through quite a few check-ins, done just like some other admin work. Um, and I'm pretty much just going to sit here at my desk, um, have a consultation later tonight. However, uh, I'm going to have my third meal soon. Um, and then I think Michael and I will go to Al's gym to train lower body together. How much glutes I will get in that session, I'm not exactly sure um, because apparently Michael wants to run the session. Um, but we will take you through that, get some training footage. Um, but day to day, I sort of just sit at my desk the whole entire time, which I'll show you. I pretty much sit here and just work. So it's sort of boring, but that's just what I do. All day, every day. What are your thoughts, Maddie? I don't think she can hear, think she can hear me either. James, what are your thoughts? I'm sitting here all day. Yeah. My brain hurts. Your brain hurts, Michael. So well, off to the gym I go. But meal yeah. three, meal two was just Michael. Um, meal two was just the exact same as meal one, which is just a chicken, veg, and rice. Meal two is literally just extra lean beef, um, rump steak, which is just cut up, and then uh, 100 grams of zucchini. And then we also have what is meant to be 125 grams of blackberries, which is now probably 100 grams of blackberries, thanks to Michael. So that, a whole heap of salt. Um, I will be training, as just mentioned, soon, hopefully within the next sort of half an hour. Um, but usually pre-training, I always want at least like three liters in. So I'm onto my third liter of water now. Um, and then hopefully that will be completely in. And then I'm having my fourth liter um, either whilst I'm training um, or majority of it whilst I'm training and then the rest sort of at night. And then I'll just sip on teas, etc., before bed as well. So I don't have to get up to go to the toilet like 600 times around. So yeah. Okay, so we are off, Michael and I. Um, we are going to Al's gym now, which is only about 10 minutes away from our office. Um, and it's nice because it's a little bit more bodybuilder-esque. Um, a little bit more grungy. I previously mentioned we're gonna do a leg session. Um, how much of my session will be incorporated into that? I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't do any direct like quad work right now. It's mainly just glutes and some hamstrings. Um, so oh, I, I will see how I go and I'll add a little bit of delts at the end, potentially a little bit more ad work. I did some core this morning. Um, however, I did only do a couple of sets, so we will see how we go and then go from there. So we are back from the gym, back at the office. Um, I've inserted a couple, oh Mads, when she added this, has inserted a couple training videos from today. It's been so long since I've done any like direct quad work. Um, we didn't do that much, it was more so just the hack squat and leg press. Usually I perform a leg press unilaterally. Um, and I try and put a major emphasis on the glutes. There's really only so much that I can do in regards to something like a hack squat. Um, however, it was really good for the time as well, like it being 5 p.m. Um, and I think today's the third, the third of January. Um, the gym was not dead. There was some atmosphere, but it was still um, quite lively. So we're back now. It's currently 6 p.m. Um, I'm going to obviously finish this little update. I've got a couple people to call tonight. Um, two people to call. I've got um, two client check-ins to still work through, do their update videos, send them all their feedback, um, some training videos to analyze, send feedback on that. Um, and then I think just do a little bit of a tidy up in regards to admin and then I will be back home. So I don't think that my last meal will go in when it should. 
usually I have my last meal around seven. I'm assuming that's going to look more like seven, uh, more like eight or even nine, eight thirty nine tonight. Um, but that's fine. That sort of just happens. Um, something that I feel like I'm much better with this prep is being a little bit more adaptable, not being so pedantic about everything. Like I'm still super accurate, but the fact that like I'm having my meal, well, I know that my last meal will go in later than it's meant to, um, not directly on my like meal timing for 7 p.m. Last year that would have like, I would have lost my mind. I'm pretty positive I'm on like 14,000 steps, so I don't have to do any steps tonight. I might do a couple thousand just on the treadmill just because I like it and watch a movie before I go to sleep. Um, but yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, so we're back in the car. I've been searching for this back of an earring all day and I literally just found it on my seat, but it's currently 7.25. Um, steps are sitting at 13 and a half thousand, so I don't, my step target currently is 12,000, so I technically don't have to do any more. I'm feeling a bit tired today. Um, post training, even like mid training session, I felt as though um, I was gonna vomit the whole entire time. But um, I have a list of things to do when I get home, which I will probably do whilst I'm walking on the treadmill. I will reply to client messages again, um, just to ensure that like before I go to sleep, there are none that are just sitting there. Um, and then I have a couple things to do in regards to social media, post a couple stories for myself and Michael. Um, check a couple things, do some organization. I also organize um, our task boards, so everyone except for Michael's task boards in the office. So I'll do that today, tonight, when I get home, when I'm walking on the treadmill, um, and then a couple other little tasks. So I probably have another hour's worth of work to do when I get home. But yeah, everyone thinks that becoming an online coach and like being part of a coaching business is literally just like, oh, you just do check-ins. I got up this morning at 5.30, train, um, steps, cardio, got to work at 9, just finished then at 7. The only reason why I'm even going home this early is because I'm hungry and I want to eat. Um, do another hour of work when I do get home uh, and then try and relax a little bit, hopefully in bed by like 10. It's currently 8.04. We're home, I'm gonna make my last meal, which is smoothie. Um, so, let's obviously do this because I'm starving. You know what, that's a lie. I'm really not that hungry. I feel as though this prep, I'm hungrier than I was last prep. However, oh my God, don't tell me I don't have any coconut water. <gasps> oh, don't worry, I do. Um, I am hungrier than I was compared to last prep. Bear in mind, I'm eating a lot less than I was this time last prep as well. If anything, hunger in the situation and the setting that I'm in, like in a prep, um, is quite gratifying and generally, sorry about the loud, loud noise, um, generally anyways, you see a bit of a correlation between like being quite hungry um, on specific days or specific nights and a bit of a drop. Um, I don't think I'll have a drop in weight tomorrow because I am quite sore, um, which I'm generally not sore after training. So I think I'm a bit inflamed. It's my rest day tomorrow. So I'll see how we go then. I have in here 250 mils of coconut water, 125 grams of raspberries. I'm gonna add 100 grams of this mix. I'm meant to do 100 grams of banana, um, but they don't sell frozen banana and all the bananas at my grocery store were, like the fresh bananas were um, green and I'm talking really green. So I just popped this in. It means that intake wise, it does sit a little bit under what it is meant to. Um, However, like, that's not really the end of the world. 20 grams of protein. I usually do the bulk nutrients collagen protein just because I don't tolerate whey extremely well. Um, however, I do find that right now, um, 
at my house my freezer doesn't freeze as well as it should uh, so the smoothie consistency is quite different if I add collagen protein and the like fruit isn't completely frozen I'm gonna do 20 grams of ABC spread which I don't have a spoon for ABC spread always get your spread put it on the scale tear it on the scale and then add it to things um, because generally if you're like popping in little bit by little bit you're gonna miss something so and then I also have um, 12 grams of dark chocolate on the side as well so that's it done and blended if I'm completely honest I'm just going to eat it out of the thing not that it matters anyways it just looks nice in a cup but I'm so tired I don't care can't be bothered, so I'm gonna eat this, drink it, smoothie, whatever, have a shower, and then go to sleep.